In this video, I want to talk about making decision, making statistical inference from uh, two sets of data. So this is a question. Uh, do males have greater net worth than female? Now for uh, this actually question has come from a data set. So I'll show you the data set. Now this is the data set of males and females. Now this I have generated, I got from a website uh, called News uh, NZ Stats, and I have copied and pasted this data from that website. So you've got these information, gender, employment, qualification, ethnicity, age, debt, and net worth. So our focus is net worth. Okay, so you've got males and females. So this is a question. Uh, looking at this data, I pose the question, do females or do males have greater net worth? Now, uh, the reason why I am making that statement is I'm I am thinking I have got a hypothesis. The purpose of this investigation is to answer the question or answer my thought or my hypothesis that males have greater qualify or better qualification or they are better equipped uh, technically and also academically or they are more qualified technically and academically to earn more. Okay, and because they can earn more, the net worth can be greater, should be greater than female. That's my thought. Okay, I may be right or wrong, and that's what I want to test. And also the fact that females tend to go out of workforce and they have less opportunity to acquire wealth. So that's my hypothesis. Based on that hypothesis, I have asked this question. Okay, and this is my data. Okay, now, now to answer that question, uh, one, one way of doing it is you calculate the net worth of all the males and all the females. So you've got a population of 300 here. Yeah? Uh, I've got this population of 300 people, males and females. So that is called census uh, uh, statistics. But uh, what I want to do is I don't want to calculate the statistics of all 300 people which would be really time consuming. I want to make it, it take a sample of 30 males and females. I want to take a sample of 30 males and 30 females such that the sample is unbiased. Unbiased in the sense, I take 30 random samples of males and females. So how do I generate or how do I get the, that random sample of 30 males and 30 females. For that I'm going, I'm going to use a calculator and press on this on the calculator so that is random number times 300 plus 1. So this will generate on the calculator random numbers from 1 to 300. So let me show you that. So let me cancel. If you go to run menu, so let me exit. If you go to option and then you press F6 then you go to probability. Uh, in some calculators, you may have this in a different option. So you go to random number. This should be on the screen. Times 300 plus 1. Okay. So the first number that I got was 30. Say it is 37. So I'll write 37 just to remember. So I'll make two columns. One is male and the other is female. I'll write only F. Okay. F for female. Okay, so let me write, let us, this is female and male. So I'll first have to decide 37 is for male or female. So this is 37, which is a female. Okay, so uh, I'm interested in this stats. So I'll write down 37 so that I remember this is female. So if I go back, if I press equal again, it's 26. So I'll go back and check what is this. What is, where is 26? So this is 26. That is luckily male. So this is minus 127. This is 26. Okay. And I'll keep a record and I will generate 30 random numbers. Okay. So I'll show you how I did. So let me remove the wheel. This is this is the 30 random numbers. So these are not the random numbers. This is the actual net worth in 1,000. Minus 27 means it's minus 27,000. I've not written the 1,000 because if you look at the stats, 
it is rounded in thousand okay so it is in thousand so this is two hundred thousand this is two hundred nine thousand so the data is very clear this is rounded to the nearest thousand so this is I have written the stats sorry this is the this is the data that actually got this is a random sample of 30 females and males okay okay so let me show you the stats then I calculate the statistics so this is the this is for men this is the stat so the minimum was 27,000 so let me show you that so let me go back oops it is yeah can you see the minimum is 27,000 for males and 56,000 for females the maximum for males is 436,000 and the maximum is 500,000 the median is halfway between the 15th and the 16th so the median comes here median is the average of this two okay and the average of this two is female so this is for this is the median so to find the median what you do is you add this add them up so this is 113 just to show you how you calculate median 113 plus 115 divided by 2 which is 228 divided by 2 which is 114,000 is the median value for female okay so let me show you that uh, so can you see the median for female is 114,000 same way for male oops so male it is the average of this two so this is if you add them up this is 206 divided by 2 which is 103,000 okay so they should not be difficult now when calculating the lower quartile so this is let me draw the line so this is the uh, let me draw a blue line this is the halfway mark okay so you got 15 to the left and 15 above okay so if you want to find the lower quartile is the middle of the lower half so the half if you want to find the half of the upper half or lower half you have the eighth value which is the middle so the lower quartile this is the lower quartile for male and this is the lower quartile for female so you count you got seven above eight and you got seven below eight okay so one this is one two three four five six seven and you got one two three four five six seven so this is 45 and 22 and same way you find the middle of the lower half so let me show you that one two three four five six seven eight so can you see this is upper quartile for males and this is the upper quartiles for females okay so let me go back okay so that's how i found so this is lower quartile this is upper quartile this is maximum median and so on so i hope you understand the stats okay now we need to con uh, make decision about uh, whether the males or whether males have greater net worth now I, this is a box and whisker I used a program called uh, autograph to uh, draw this so this this is the stats minus 27,000 436,000 okay now lo and behold my stats is great my stats is very different what I thought of this is the box for males and this is the box for females so this is the lower quartile this is the median and this is the upper quartile okay so here we can see many things one is this is all complete overlap of these two boxes okay that's one one very clear thing it's one complete overlap of boxes complete overlap of boxes now that's is this is very crucial of the two boxes now I hope you know the boxes represent the middle 50 percent okay so this is the middle 50 percent if you ignore 45 and 166 this is 50 percent the box will represent the 50 percent of the given data this box is also the middle 50 percent so when there's an overlap what are we saying there's a middle 50 percent of male and female so this is the overlap 
this is the overlap my drawing is not that good so this is the overlap okay so this is the middle 50 percent of female is completely overlapping the box sorry the, the middle 50 percent of male is completely overlapping the box of female okay so what can we say what does that mean that means they have the same net worth in the middle 50 percent that's what we can say okay so this is i have written my conclusions here so that I don't have to waste time in writing. When we look at the two boxes, it is very obvious that the middle 50% of the net worth of males and females are the same because of the overlap. That's one thing that you can see. Now this is the formula for finding the informal confidence interval for population median. Okay, so this is the formula that median minus 1.5 times interquartile range over n square root of n and this is minus and this is plus so for males the confidence interval of the population median is between 70,000 and 137,000 so let me show you that how I got that so this is your lower the interquartile range so let me first calculate the interquartile range interquartile range is upper quartile minus the lower quartile so which is 166,000 minus 45,000. So let me get my calculator out. So 166, 166 minus 45 is 121,000. I'll write only 121. Okay. So here yeah, the median is 103,000. So let us use the formula. So the formula is median, which is, I'll write the complete number, 103,000 minus 1.5 times interquartile range which is 121,000 divided by shift square root of 30 your sample size is 30 which is 69,008 so I have rounded this up to 70,000 okay and if you make it plus instead of negative if you put plus there let me delete this so this is the upper interval. So this is 136,000. So that's how I got from 70,000 to 137,000. It was, it should be 136,000. I'll round it to, let me change that. So this is 136,000. This is 136,000. Okay, so your, you can say that your the population median for male uh, should be between 70,000 and 136,000. Same way for female, it is between 55,000 and 173,000. So again, if you look at the informal conference interval, there's complete overlap. This is between 55,000 to 173,000, and this is 70,000 to 136,000. So again, the male uh, informal conference interval is overlapping that of female. Okay. okay, so this is uh, the next thing, again, uh, overlap of conference interval. Okay, so again, that's the same statement that you can make, that, uh, that you cannot make a claim that males have greater net worth than females. Or you can also make, cannot make the other claim that females have greater net worth than males. Okay, and this is the last thing, which is, of course, these two are enough to make the conclusion, but I'm going to discuss one more thing, which is can be useful when you're com comparing other set types of data. Now, this is called the median shift. Okay, so when, in this case, of course, the median shift is the difference between the two medians. So, the median for female is 114,000 and the median for males is 103,000. So there is a shift of 11,000. Now here, yeah, you can say that females net worth, the female median net worth is greater than the men net worth by 11,000. Now here yeah, the obvious question is, can you make a claim by this difference or this shift that females have greater net worth? To answer that question, you have to find the overall visible shift. The overall vis visible shift is 
the difference between uh, this num in this case it is a difference between 22,000 and 236,000 so let me show you that so this is this is called the overall visible spread OVS I'll write OVS OVS is the overall visible spread or shift okay the overall visible shift or spread is the difference between this blue line that is 22,000 and 236,000 so I have done the calculation so 236,000 take away 22,000 is 214,000 okay then you have to find express this ratio as a percent so that's what I have done so let me show that on a calculator so 11,000 divided by 214,000 so you're dividing the median shift by the overall visible shift and this if you change that as a percent it is 5.14 percent so what does this mean this is a very interesting percentage so what are we saying we are saying for this median which is 103,000 to match with this 114,000 this box has to move by 5%. Okay, the 5% of the overall visible shift. If it moves 5% of the overall visible shift, this median will overlap this median. Okay, so that's a very important. This means that the shift required, that is the median shift, the shift required for median of men, which is 103,000 to match up with the median of female which is 114,000 is about 5% of the overall visible spread. Okay, I hope you can understand the maths behind it. I'll say it again. For this median of male to match up with the median of female, this box has to move 5% of the overall visible spread. Okay, now and for that you have to now to answer that question this is something that you need to remember okay that however when making a claim back in the population this is a very important phrase because from the sample you're going to talk about the population of male and female with a sample of 30 you have only a sample of 30 and you want to talk about the back in the population the shift required should be more than 33 33 and one third percent of the overall visible spread this is something that you have to remember that when you have a sample of 30 and there is a difference between the median the the shift that is required for one median to match the other median should be more than 33 and one third percent of the overall visible spread now here in this case we have got the for the two mediums to match up you only require a shift of five percent of the overall visible spread so this is not a big shift so the difference between the mediums of males and females net worth is not big enough to make the claim back in the population that females have greater net worth worth than males or males have greater net worth than female so this is what our conclusion is so this means it is not possible to make the claim that one gender has greater net worth than the other.